Hi, this is Attorney Joe Simons. It's Sunday, April 25th, 2021, and here's my week in review. I think I missed at least a week last week because I was on the verge of preparing for my first jury trial in just over a year's time. I was preparing just like any other trial, but this was a little bit different because instead of the courthouse, this one was in Quincy District Court. I go all over the place. This one happened to be in Quincy. And instead of the courthouse, we actually went to an event hall called Lombardo's. It's a place where people have weddings, bat mitzvahs, quinceañeras, proms, even graduations. Uh, in this, you know, really nice event hall, we had this jury trial. There was a chandelier at the top, right in the middle, between the judge and the lawyers and the jury. Um, really more comfortable than probably any other courthouse that I've ever been in. So uh, we just finished that. This was a four-day trial. It started on Tuesday. There was no court on Monday. So we started Tuesday. We had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then we ended midday Thursday, waited for a verdict for three hours on Thursday. Jury was sent home and came back on Friday. And I think they were there for another probably three, four hours or so on Friday. And they finally came back, but it was all worth it in the end because we got a big, fat, not guilty verdict for my client. It was a huge relief. Great way to start up jury trials once again, at least for my practice. And uh, it was a motor vehicle homicide case. It was a case that started in 2018. So the case was three years old. It had been delayed just because of court congestion, even before COVID, sometimes it was hard to get cases to jury trial. It would sometimes take a year, two years. This case probably would have taken a couple of years if not for COVID, but then an extra year or so because of COVID. And it was a huge relief for us, for our client. Uh, the, the short version is, that I can tell you some of the facts without violating any attorney-client privilege or without giving away anything about my client. The facts basically were, the allegations that my client was driving a car, that he swerved over the double yellow line, and that he hit another car head on. The other car flipped over, the other driver unfortunately died as a result, and my client was charged with negligent homicide with a motor vehicle, and also uh, negligent driving, two criminal charges. So it was a big deal. If he was convicted, he was facing jail time. He was also facing a 15 year loss of his driver's license if he was convicted. And this would have been just a huge deal. It was a huge deal. Uh, it was a big deal, it was a tragic event. Either way, very sad that a person died as a result and very sad that my client was being accused of being a criminal. So despite the fact that I always tell clients not to speak with the police if they are under investigation, this client decided to speak with the police before hiring me, of course. I would have advised him otherwise. Turned out that he actually did a pretty good job at the police interview. He was completely honest. He talked to the police. He gave them full access to his cell phone, unlocked the phone for them. He uh, wasn't under suspicion of using alcohol or drugs. The police extracted his phone and found out that he hadn't been using his phone, hadn't texted, no calls, nothing like that. So uh, really there was no distraction, nothing like that. Uh, but some witnesses said that he went over the line. So if he was negligent, if he was not driving as a prudent person would be driving, that constitutes negligence and that can be enough for a conviction. So um, we had to do our own investigation and I was able to find out that two of the witnesses who initially said they saw our client swerving actually said they were going in the same direction as the client, but that the client was coming the other way. So two witnesses said that the client was going one way. There was two other witnesses that said the client was going this way. They both can't be right. And there was an accident reconstructionist who relied on all sorts of, not only hearsay, but also evidence or calculations that weren't really supported by anything. It was his first time ever testifying as an expert and there were a number of what I would consider flaws in the way that the accident reconstruction was done that led to the prosecution believing the client had caused the crash. So anyway, there's a lot more details to it, but uh, again, four day trial, that's, that was my whole week. On trial, everything else gets pushed aside. Uh, not only being on trial, preparing for trial, everything that goes into it, even driving to and from Randolph was a thing in and of itself. So it was exhausting, but it was rewarding. It was very relieving to have my client be acquitted and to finish that up. So it, needless to say, it was a great week and I look forward to the next one. I'll see you next time.